Alrighty, the other day I made a funky loopy bow and there was some questions about the actual loops and attaching it to the French clip. So I'm going to add this extra tutorial in on just making a loopy bow. Um, and in the description there will be a link to the funky loopy bow on how you add additional ribbon sprays and tool and everything. And it's an extra step on this bow. So to begin with, you're going to have your French clip, which I took the center piece out. You have your French clip. You're going to need some Bodabra bow wire. I have 25 inches of ribbon. I dovetailed the end and then heat sealed it. Um, and about 25 inches will get you, it's five loops, and I do them approximately two inches up. So just start with what you're going to want to do is take your ribbon and stack it on top of each other. You're eventually going to separate it once it's on the French clip. But to start with, it's so much easier if it's just stacked on top. So once you have it pretty much together, you're then going to take your Bodabra bow wire and you're going to make a slip knot so that you can easily attach it to the French clip. Okay. So then you take it and at the end you're going to want to leave a little bit of the tails. Get that. Kind of pinch it to create your crease. Open up your slip knot. And then pull it tight. And then pinch again for your crease. And it's hard for me in the original video, I bring things close to my body while I'm working on them. So if I seem a little off, it's because I'm trying to keep the barrette on the table while I'm explaining it. So then you can take, knot it again. Okay, and you can trim away the wire after. All right, so now that you have it, you're gonna go, your loop is about two inches high, so I guess you would probably pull it about four inches. So there's your first loop. You take the wire, bring it around, and then bring it through to knot it again. What's nice about the wire is that it can hold real tight. And then there's your first crease. So then you take it again, grab it about four inches, and then make sure that your, your loops match up. Bring it around. Bring the wire through. And pull tight. So now I'm on my third loop. I want to make sure all the ribbon kind of stays together. Pull. So this bow, it's real easy to do, and what's nice is that it's a great bow by itself, or you can follow the uh, other tutorial and add little b ribbon strands and bows in between each loop, which really makes the, the bow very full and big. So there's my fourth. This is my fifth loop. Okay, and then this is your final loop. So you're gonna wanna bring it around one more time 
and really tighten it and knot it and make sure that it doesn't come undone because it's the wire that's holding the bow together. You can also kind of separate the loops a little bit, making sure you get all the way to the end. And I'm, I'm a knotter. Once, you know, you want it to stay. And then I'll even go after, once I trim it, and I'll put hot glue on it just to make for sure that it's not going to come out. So then once you have this, these are your ends, and we, uh, we measured it out pretty good. So we have enough here to do the dovetails. So you take your bottom one. You'll want to cut it at an angle. Cut the next. one and then I do heat seal so it doesn't fray so I usually just pinch it and then take a lighter make sure you get the ends and where you dovetail and I'll go through for each one So once that's set, you can go ahead and trim the wire here, and then the initial one as well. And then I just take hot glue. I glue down the actual dovetail. And I, let's see here, do we have enough glue to make this happen? Yep. So there's glue down here. You can add glue on this end as well. And the little dovetail. Or, the, excuse me, the Bodabra bow wire. So once that's set, You then just go ahead and separate the loops. So when I do it, I kind of try to do the reverse for each side so it's nice and full. So I'll separate the opposite. So then we'll go back white on this side. Now once it's separated, it will stay separated. It's just a matter of putting the, um, the loops in all different directions. And this bow, I mean, it's great for scrap ribbon. You only need it in assorted amount of ribbon. We've got different sizes in here, different colors, um, and it was 25 inches long. And there you go. There's our loopy bow. Um, to finish it up, you just place the French clip back in, the, um, the little insert, and you're set. I hope that you enjoyed our tutorial. To find out more about Bodabra products, please visit bodabra.com. Our products can also be found on the shelves of most major retail craft stores. To stay up to date on our latest craft tutorials, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.